<laughs> Smell cake, must have cake. Chocolate cake, must have cake. This is for Liz's bake sale. <gasps> Touch it, and I'll never make you another lasagna as long as you live. No cake, must not have cake. Must watch TV instead. No cake. <laughs> Time for your walk, boy? <laughs> Okay, I'll walk you while the frosting hardens. It'll be safe from Garfield. I think. I want you out of this house now. This second. Sooner, if you can manage it. Meow, meow. You are the most horrible, monstrous, awful creature who has ever lived. And don't you ever, ever come back. Do you hear me? Meow, meow. Ah, who needs him and that cheap cat food he buys? Chopped salmon and styrofoam. Who could eat that slop? I'll find me another house to. Uh oh. There's that cat I've been looking for. Oh no. You're not getting away from me this time. <laughs> Do you have some place to live, little angel? Someone to feed you? Meow, meow. I don't know if we could have another cat in the house. All right, all right. Meow, meow. <laughs> <laughs> meow, meow. But remember, it's just for a little while, Odie. We can't keep him. Oh, Angel is so cute. I'm sure even Garfield won't mind sharing his food. No, 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 and no. In that order, we are not having another cat in this house. I just know you and Angel will get along well, Garfield. <laughs> All right, Angel, you out of here. Meow, meow. Don't meow, meow me. <laughs> Odie. Nice, Odie. Good, Odie. <laughs> I'm not eating this junk. I want chocolate cake. <laughs> <laughs> So much for dessert. No, I want dinner. Yeah, yeah. 
your friend a kitten, okay? You know, I hate to admit it, but he is kind of cute. And how much trouble can he be? Hmm, about this much. Garfield! What have you done to my kitchen? I didn't, honestly. No, he must have... Garfield, that's low for even you, blaming oh. cute little angel for what you did. Meow, meow. <gasps> and my cake? Huh? I told you not to eat my cake! <laughs> How could you? How could you? I didn't. I didn't. Stop! I'm innocent. Just this <laughs> once. Hey, if I didn't know better, I'd blame me too. <sighs> Maybe if I stay out of his way, John will let me live here some more. Oh boy, I need a nap. My bed is awaiting me. <laughs> it's awaiting me with somebody else in it. All right, you miserable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, listen to me, Odie. He's not your cute little kitten friend. He's not. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna love living here. Day drapes. I haven't traded any drapes in weeks. Sorry, pup. Now let's see about little angel. John's gonna blame me for this. Garfield? You're not going to blame this mess on that adorable little kitten. It had crossed my mind. I'm beginning to really not like cute little kittens. He's not a cute little kitten. Who's not? Angel. I saw that guy you live with take him home. Angel's older than you are. He is? Yeah. Only cat I ever saw who asked to shave. But he's bad news. Al the dog catcher's been trying to catch him for months. See ya. <laughs> Al the dog catcher couldn't catch a cold at the North Pole. Hmm, maybe I can lend him a paw. To Liz from John. Looks like that funny looking guy's gonna give candy to his lady friend. <laughs> he thinks. Meow, meow. Now, you stupid mutt. I don't want to throw the silly stick so you can fetch it. Now, get out of here or else. <sighs> now, where was I? Uh-oh, that cat again. <clears throat> the house is yours. Goodbye forever. Uh, isn't this your home? Used to be. But I got a lead on a better place to live. It's a house a uh, few blocks away. A gourmet chef who cooks whole prime ribs for his pets and has all sorts of drapes they can shred. <laughs> and the best part is, he's looking for a cat. Oh, I just hope I'm cute enough. Whole prime ribs, you say? Medium rare. Medium rare prime ribs, drapes to shred. What do I want with this stuff? Give me that address. That's where I'm gonna live. I'm rib here I go. This guy's take me in. That cute kitty routine works all the time. Meow, meow. Meow, meow. Meow, meow. Hey, meow, meow. 
<laughs> what have we here? A very cute kitten. Meow, meow. Boy, I've been catching stray animals for years, meow. but this is the first time they ever came to the house. You can't do this to me. I'm a cute kitten. I'm adorable. I can <laughs> Well, looks like we've seen the last of Little Angel. That is, until we do a sequel to this episode. Never trust any creature that's that cute. They think they can get away with anything. They think... I'll be home in five minutes, dear. I picked up ten pizzas for the party. Mm. Meow, meow. Hey, it worked for him. It could work for me. Meow, meow. Why, you cute little kitten. You wouldn't want some pizza, would you? Meow, meow. Cooking. Oh, hi, Garfield. Huh? You probably noticed I'm not cooking. What? Ah, I will in a moment. <laughs> it's just that sometimes I like to come out here and look at the stars. They're so peaceful. They're so beautiful. <gasps> look! You see that? It's a shooting star! Wow! You know what a shooting star is, Garfield? It's a meteoroid that's entering the Earth's atmosphere. Great, let's do dinner. <laughs> That was terrific! I wish I'd been up at the observatory watching it through their big telescope. Dinner on the table! Dinner on the table! Dinner on the table! Uh, Professor Bonkers, did you see the shooting star? Yes! A meteor from the Beta Blue Space Quadrant. Radar says it was down to the size of a gumball, and it landed in the North Hills. Beta Blue, you say? Some scientists claim that meteors from Beta Blue have regressive powers. They say anything that comes into contact with one is turned back into its prehistoric form. Yes, Gertrude. I'm hiking up here in the North Hills. It's very invigorating out here, and I'm having such a good... <laughs> I just found something odd, Gertrude. It's some sort of glowing rock. It's like a meteor or a... I was saying, Gertrude, it's very invigorating up here. Really, really brings out the caveman in you. I'm sorry I didn't cook dinner earlier last night, guys. Maybe lunch at Vito's will make up for it. Works for me. Oh, gum. I can't stand people who chew gum and just discard it and make a mess. Isn't that awful, Garfield? That's so rude. Away! Away, you get out of my restaurant, you pesky flies! All of you! Ah, Senor Arbuckle! Welcome to Vito's! Thanks, Vito! Oh. Oh. Huh? Oh. Odie, come in and join us as soon as you get that gum off your paw. Oh. 
My cat will have the left side of the menu. <laughs> Excellent choice. Excuse me, waiter. There's a fly in my soup. Oh, one moment, senor. And the right side of the menu. One of our most popular sides waiter, of the menu. There's a fly in my soup. Un momento, senor. Please. Anything else, Garfield? Oh, yes. The back of the menu. Oh, one of my specialties. I still have this fly in my soup. Senor, can you not see I'm busy with another customer? Tell me, what is a big deal about a fly in your soup? Well, he is rather large. Can we make that order to go? Vito, do something! You need a sweater the size of a football field. I'm gonna call for help. This is Vito, Vito's Pizzeria. I would like to report a monster. Thank you. They'll be here in two seconds. One, two. What took them so long? What's this monster you reported? It's a fly. All right. Huh? No, officer, it's a monster fly. It's huge and it has razor sharp teeth. And it could eat more than I can. Ah. I should run you all in. Huh? Next time, I'll just order a salad. I shall go prepare the left oh. side and the right side of the menu. Don't forget the back. That's the best part. Garfield, where's Odie? Huh? Huh? Odie! What? Odie! Here, boy! Hmm. I wonder where Odie went. We're being drenched in doggy drool. We need help. Help! Help! Super size slurp. Help! Exactly what I said. Uh huh. I see. Okay, thanks. Now it's a giant <laughs> puppy dog. <laughs> Attention, all units. We have a report from a guy in Vito's Pizzeria. He claims that there's a big puppy dog outside. Puppy dog? Sounds like this is right up my alley as a dog catcher. <laughs> Well, I'm your landlord, and your lease says you can only keep a small dog in this apartment. This is not a small dog. <laughs> oh, cry all you want. I don't care. I'm a landlord. <laughs> oh, okay, you're right. It is a small dog. Giant monster puppy dog! Don't hurt him! He's harmless! 
He hasn't licked you yet. Garfield, we have to figure out a way to get him out of the city. Uh, maybe into the countryside. I know. Throwing a stick so he can fetch it? But how will that... I get it. Great idea! Garfield, we don't want to lose him. How do you lose a mutt the size of a shopping mall? All units, let the puppy dog go. He's headed up to the North Hill. Hills, huh? What's the big deal catching a little puppy dog? <laughs> Come out, little puppy dog, wherever you are. Here, boy. I don't see why the police were making such a big deal. Catching dogs is easy. They're small and harmless and hey! The other man didn't say anything about rain today. Help! Help! I'll never catch another dog again! Leave me alone! <laughs> You see him, Garfield? Maybe we could lure him with a 10-ton doggy treat. Odie! I don't know what happened, but let's not worry about that now. Let's get him home. Hey, there's the truck of that dumb dog catcher who's always chasing us. Don't worry about him. He's too stupid to hurt you. He's a real Neanderthal. Excellence must be recognized. We're saluting superior work on the best show on television. This one. Each winner will receive one of these handsome trophies. It's hard to believe. What's hard to believe, Normal? That I don't have one of those. But I will. Without further ado, our first award is Best Performance by a Character in a Scene Involving Food. 
And the nominees are... Hedy Gourmand in the episode, Yankee Poodle Dandy. Oh, just try one of these, whatever they are. Sir, I don't think you want to. Mmm, <laughs> this is exquisite. <laughs> Madam, what do you call this tasty treat? Dog food. Dog food? Dog food. <laughs> I ate dog food. <gasps> But you know, with a little parsley, it wouldn't be too bad. <laughs> Our next nominee in this category is Vito Capaletti for his role in Mozzarella Madness. Oh, please, you must forgive me. You must. I, I was foolish, I admit it. If you could somehow find it in your heart to spare me, I would be grateful for all eternity. <laughs> well, just this once. But next time, don't forget the black olives. <laughs> and our final nominee in this category is... Why, well, it seems to be me, Garfield Cat in Camping Out. We're going to be out here in the middle of nowhere for two weeks, Garfield. We're miles from any takeout restaurants, miles from any markets. We'll be making do with just the supplies we brought. Do you understand? <laughs> And you're okay with that. Well, I apologize, Garfield. I misjudged you. Okay, I'm going to unpack the car. Here you go, little pussy gatto. On the hot, steaming dish of sausage lasagna, just as you requested. Mmm. He had to do that to make up for forgetting the black olives. Mmm, mmm, mmm. <laughs> And the winner is... Come on, come on. Well, how about that? It's me! <laughs> Rats. No, well, why are you disappointed? You weren't even nominated in this category. I was hoping for a massive write-in vote. Oh, thank you all for this award. I'm not sure which of you voted for me. I didn't vote for him. I didn't vote for him. Well, I sure didn't. But it doesn't matter to me. What matters is that I got the award and somebody else didn't. The next category, best performance by an actor in a role involving sleep. And the nominees are John Arbuckle and what time is it? <laughs> no, Garfield, I will not get up and make you raspberry waffles for breakfast. I'll settle for French toast. I just got to bed an hour ago. I'm going to sleep until that alarm clock goes off in seven hours. <sighs> At noon. Good night, Garfield. <laughs> Three, two, one. A good eight hours of sleep. I feel like a new man. I'm going to go make you raspberry waffles and French toast, Garfield. Last July, I convinced him it was Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and the next nominee in this category is Odie the Puppy. Please hold your applause. Odie the Puppy for Fetching Fido. Odie, I'm gonna throw the stick so you can fetch it. <laughs> Here it goes, boy. Go get it. And the last nominee in this category is... Where do you know? It's me again. It's for my stellar performance in The Snooze Reporter. Wait! I think he's finally waking up. Garfield, congratulations! You've been asleep for over 11 weeks. What do you have to say? Uh, just five more minutes. <sighs> and the winner is... <laughs> it's me again. Next, this 
contest is fixed. Normal, behave yourself. I'm sorry, this is how I behave. Our next category is best performance by a mouth. Oh, that's great. Garfield can't win in this category. <sighs> Wanna bet? And our first nominee is Herb the Mouse in The Dangerous Mission. This is a dangerous mission, Irv. You don't have to do it. Somebody's oh. got to. It might as well be me. Well, I wish you all the luck in the world with it. Thanks, Squeak. <laughs> The next nominee is Squeak as the news mouse in the Snooze Reporter. Okay, we just saw this one. We don't need to show it again. And our final nominee for the best performance by a mouse is... <laughs> You're not going to believe this. It seems to be me for my performance in Rat Cat. Here's a piece of cheese for you, and one for you, and one for you, and... Hi, I'm a mouse. What do you have for me? And the winner is... Oh, no, not again. Oh. Oh, I can't take any more of this. It's a travesty of justice. Excuse me, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. The cute cat coming through. And the next category is... Best performance by an overweight orange pussycat with striped whose name is in the title of the show. Gee, I can't imagine who's gonna win. We don't have time for clips. Oh, what's that again? We don't have time for clips. Oh, I'm informed that we don't have time for the clips, so we'll just do this the fast way. The nominees are me, me, and me. And the winner is... <gasps> hey, it's me! Thank you, I couldn't have done it without you. So, uh, Bruno, you and your friends weren't invited to the ceremony, huh? Yeah, we were nominated for anything and we're angry about it. Hey, who is this? Oh, it's <clears throat> just a friend. I happen to know this award ceremony is rigged. One cat wins every award. You should come down here and take care of him. Yeah, good idea. We'll be right there. Come on, guys. We're gonna go down to that award ceremony. When we get there, we'll take care of that cat who keeps winning all the awards. You see? You can learn valuable information watching the Garfield show. The commercial's over. Great. I'll go present the last award. Thank you. And now the award you've all been waiting for. The award for the most fabulously terrific super performer ever. And the nominees are Odie the Puppy. Thank you, Odie. And the next nominee is Nermal the Cat. That's about the response Nermal deserves. And the last nominee is Guess Who? <laughs> <laughs> okay, and the winner is... Hmm. And the winner is... Normal Cat! Did you see Normal Cat? You did see Normal Cat! Well, I'm Normal Cat! Oh! For that wonderful ovation, I'm sure I'd be receiving if anyone was here. I can't tell you how much this award means to me. I really need to thank all the people who supported me and helped me over the years. And I would if I knew any of their names. <laughs> but I have to admit, you like me. You really like me. Almost as much as I do. Hey, 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 hey. can't you see I'm accepting an award here? You're the cat who ripped these awards, so he always wins. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. No, that's not me. That's uh, No, 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 no. Oh, you see that? You. Oh, pick up some of your own size. Hey, you leave me alone.
Here, Ode, you can have this one. <laughs> hey, awards are great, aren't they? They make your relatives really happy, and you can sell the trophies on the internet for pretty good money. For that one, I'd say you'd be able to get enough for it to buy real lasagna. It's a lot better than gold. <laughs> about you guys, but I'm famished. <laughs> I'm always famished. You have your choice of lasagna, or lasagna, or lasagna, or lasagna, or lasagna. Oh, and here we have, what a surprise, lasagna. Hmm, it's a tough choice, but I think I'll have, uh, oh, lasagna. <laughs> Gee. I wonder who repacked my picnic basket. I am adorable. Adorable am I. I wonder what the opposite of adorable is. Oh, yeah. It's Bruno. Hiya, Bruno. Sorry you're not as cute as I am. Then again, who is? Whoa! What do you mean? I mean, face reality. I look like this, and you look like this. Oh! oh Whoa! Help! Help! Oh, jealousy! Right behind me! Whoa! You're gonna get it this time, Normal! Somehow, Garfield left us one can of dog food for you, Odie. I'll get him later. Now, let's see if you know who left me anything to eat, which I doubt. Dr. Puzzle, welcome fellow fiends and nefarious colleagues to the third annual Evil Mastermind Convention. Yeah! <laughs> now, how many of you are planning on conquering the world? Could I see a show of hands and tentacles? Uh -huh. Looks like most of you. Well, then, you'll be most interested in the latest must-have accessory for world domination. <laughs> The Retro Switcheroo Laser Gun! <laughs> yes! This ingenious device will cause two people to trade personalities. Please give a warm welcome to my nemesis, Secret Agent 00-nothing. <laughs> he will be the unlucky test subject. And over here, we have a frog. I will set the Retro Switcheroo for a complete personality exchange. <laughs> <laughs> yes, certainly. Uh, I'd like to get some dead flies, please. Shaken, not stuffed. But now, let me demonstrate on two random creatures I shall select with my scopatronic device. Oh, we don't need our test creatures anymore. No! Keep 
eating like that, Garfield. And you'll never be adorable like me. I don't want to be like you, Nermal. I want people to be able to stand me. These two will be fine subjects on which to conduct my demonstration. <laughs> how come I never realized how cute and adorable I really am? Oh, meow. Mm. Lasagna. <laughs> Hello. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> Yep, right up. We accept cash, credit cards, and checks if you have your evil scientist's ID card. I want two. One to conquer the world with, and one to switch my lawyer's personality with a snake's. How will you know the difference? <laughs> It looks like it's up to me to stop this insidious Dr. Puzzle. But I'm going to need help. <laughs> I can't stand that little twerp always saying, I'm the cutest kitty cat in the world. He isn't. I'm the cutest kitty cat in the world. <laughs> Face it, Bruno. Some of us are cute, and some of us are not. You are not. You? You're acting just like normal! <laughs> I am not acting like normal. I'm adorable, and I'm cute, and I'm acting like normal! <laughs> I'm acting like normal! I must be! I'm starting to make myself sick! Normal! <laughs> oh, it's you, Garfield. I thought it was uh, someone. Normal. We've exchanged personalities. Oh, big fat hairy deal. I said when I get my paws on you, Normal. Help! help put me down! Help! Uh, Doctor Puzzle, can the retro switcheroo laser gun swap personalities that have already been swapped? I don't see why not. Let's give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to pound normal. I want to eat lasagna. All right, Bruno. You're in for it now. Wow. Yeah. Help! Yeah. Save me! Ooh, while you're at it, feed me! Normal's acting like Bruno, and Bruno's acting like me. I don't understand what's going on. Hey, you, sitting there watching this cartoon. You must know. Why don't you just fill me in? I'll huh? tell you why you and your friends are acting so oddly today. Good. And also tell me why someone as cute as me is talking to a frog with an English accent. We've all been subject to Dr. Puzzle's huh? personality swapping huh? device. Mm. How do we undo it? I don't want to be like Nermal. Mm. I'm this close to milling myself to huh? Abu Dhabi. Get the little huh? cat and come with me. We must hurry. What? Come on, Nermal. Or Bruno, or me, or whoever you are at the moment. I need a nap. No, I will not throw the stick so you can fetch it. That's the secret lair of Dr. Puzzle. Evil scientist, I shall deliver the inventions you ordered. Then each of us will conquer this planet. But there's only one planet. How can we all conquer it? <laughs> You're evil scientist. You figure it out. Wait, we have intruders to deal with. Guards, seize them and feed them to the sharks. Huh? Hey, you leave 
us alone. It's kind of handy for normal to have Bruno's personality. Have I mentioned how adorable I am? 68 times and counting. And now, I'm gonna take care of all of you! Personalities stored in the retro switcheroo. I will give you all the personalities of frogs. I don't want to be a frog. Oh, it's what? not so bad. <laughs> <laughs> What do we do now, Frog? How do we get our old personalities back? How? Could it be? Am I me again? Huh? The destruction of the machine seems to have undone its effects. You must be pretty happy to be you again. Certainly. You try eating flies all afternoon? Yeah. It's almost sundown, guys. Time to start heading for home. So because of that evil scientist, I was acting like Nermal, and Nermal was acting like me, and then Bruno... But now, I'm me again. And that's great because me is the cutest creature on this planet. There he is! <laughs> oh, don't hurt me. I have a cat show tomorrow and another one on Thursday. <laughs> when I get through with you... <laughs> <laughs> that evil scientist? No, I'm not worried about him. <laughs> now, if I was a fly, I might be worried. Mm -hmm. Don't hurt me! You! <laughs> Some of us have to eat out of these things. Oh, sorry, Harry. <laughs> Garfield threw me in there because he's so jealous of me. <sighs> not that I blame him. Garfield's not jealous of you. Look at this. Somebody threw away a perfectly good six-week-old tuna sandwich. <clears throat> How could he not be jealous? I'm cute. I'm beloved. I have everything. You don't have your own show. What? Garfield has his own show. We're on it right now, see? People are watching us. <laughs> oh, yeah! Hiya, folks! Everyone watches it. You can hear it coming out of almost every house. The little girl who lives here watches it every time it's on. Hey, I told you to watch educational programs. The Garfield show is educational, Mom. I'm learning how to eat lasagna. 
I have sleep all day. Hooray! All right, all right. We're speaking with the noted inventor and mad scientist, Professor Thaddeus Bonkers. Professor Bonkers, is it true you've invented a time machine? Oh, that is correct. How long did it take you? The rest of my life. I actually finished it 47 years from now. But then when I was done, I jumped into my time machine and came back here to today in it. Oh. So in your time machine, someone can actually travel into the past. Indeed. But they have to be very careful. Anything you do when you are back in time could affect the future. Wow. What would you do if you had a time machine, Harry? I think I'd go back in time about two minutes and not eat this sandwich. Well, I know what I'd do. And what I'm gonna do. <laughs> a slight change of history, and this show will be mine. <laughs> so, you'll need to be very careful about altering the past. This is boring. I'm gonna watch the Garfield show. Garfield? You can't just lay around the house all day sleeping. John's right. I'll lay around the backyard all day sleeping. <laughs> you are to guard my time machine with your life. It is priceless. It took me the rest of my life to build it. Yeah, you can count on me, Professor. this thing. Traveling through time for dummies. <laughs> Just what I need. To start, press red button. <laughs> well, doy. How to stop, how to stop, how to stop. Uh, it's gotta be near somewhere. Uh, the, selecting a date or event to visit. Awesome. <laughs> I'm setting it for the day John first found Garfield at the pet store. <laughs> wow, I made it. That's the store. So how do you get someone to adapt you? Just look adorable, and then someone will want to take you home. Well, that doesn't sound so hard. It helps if the human isn't too bright. Hey! Oh, he should be a cinch. Uh, but don't look too eager. It makes them think no one else wants you. Good idea. I'll play hard to get. <laughs> May I help you, sir? Uh, yes. I've been thinking I might like to adopt a cat. Take me, oh, take me home with you. Please, please, please. I'll be your loyal cat. Oh, meow, meow, meow. Pick me. Wow. Uh, maybe I'll take this one. That's how John adopted Garfield. On the way home, I'll stop off at the market and buy some cat food. Actually, we've noticed that he rather likes lasagna. Lasagna? Meow, meow. Okay, lasagna. <laughs> You are kind of cute. You're not so bad yourself, Bella. I think we're going to be good. <gasps> meow. 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 Huh? <gasps> ah! What about me? Taking me home and feeding me lasagna and making me your cat and feeding me. And you're going to love it at my place. I'll fix you up a bed and feed you whatever you like. <laughs> <laughs> this is weird. I feel like the entire universe just shifted a little. Oh well, time for my 315 pre-dinner appetizer booster snack. Gee, John's not keeping the kitchen as well stocked as he usually does. It's every pet for himself at dinner, Odie. Oh, there's 
barely enough food in the house for me. Huh? What? An intruder? Where? You mean me? How could I be an intruder? What do you mean you never saw me before in your life? I'm Garfield. I live in this house, remember? See my picture right over here on... <gasps> Normal. What is Normal doing in my picture frame? <laughs> Squeak, tell Odie who I am. Strange cat in the house. Alarm, alarm. Squeak, it's me, Garfield. You're a cat. I can't beat mice. Oh, except for my friend Normal. Normal? <laughs> What's wrong, Odie? Huh? Hey, how'd that cat get in here? That cat? John, don't you remember me? The cat who sleeps all day, who eats lasagna, who's been with you since... When did Jim start the newspaper strip? 1978. Since 1978? I don't know who you are, but there's only room for one cat in this house. My beloved pet, Normal. <gasps> Normal? Your pet? <laughs> what happened? Why do I no longer exist? Woody doesn't know me. Squeak doesn't know me. Even John doesn't know me. This couldn't be any worse. Lorraine, <gasps> are you watching the Normal Show again? The Normal Show? It's just starting, Mom. <laughs> no, no, that's my show. That's my opening and my theme song. Those people with the funny names in the credits, they work for me. Me! Lorraine, I told you to watch something educational. The Nermo Show is educational, Mom. I'm learning how to be the most oh. adorable creature on the planet. <laughs> my show. He even got my show. My life. My show. I'm surprised I still have my stripes. Hi, Garfield. Oh, hi, Nermo. Nermal, what have you done? Done? About what? Why do you suddenly have my life and my show? Oh, that. <laughs> no big deal. I just borrowed a time machine, went back in time, and got John to adopt me instead of you. <laughs> See you later, Garfield. <gasps> oh, so that's how he did it. Hmm. Time machine? How am I going to undo this? How am I going to get my life back? Professor Bonkers, is it true you've invented a time machine? Yes, uh, two of them, in fact. Someone stole the first one, they left it in a no-parking zone in the past, and it was towed. The police have no idea what it is, so I had to build another one. I have to get that time machine and undo what Nermal did. And you're going to love it at my place. I'll fix you up a bed and feed you. No, stop! You're making a terrible mistake. You don't want that cat. He's obnoxious. He's annoying. He's, he's, he's normal. What is it, cat? Are you telling me I shouldn't adopt this one? Yes, yes. Take the little cute one who eats lasagna. He's the one you really want. Don't do this. Please. Please. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a pretty good life Garfield has. Or rather, had. <laughs> I'm starting to really enjoy it. <laughs> Nermo, what are you doing here? I live here. Not anymore. I went back in time and convinced John not to adopt you. What? That's right, Garfield. How dare you do to me what I did to you? Come with me. Let's see how things are now in the Arbuckle household. You're such a wonderful pet, Odie. I'm so glad I decided never to get a cat. Never, never to, to get, get a, a cat. cat? Shall we watch our favorite TV show? Hey. <laughs> Okay, here it comes. The Odie Show! Don't worry, folks. We'll go back and get this straightened out before the next episode of The Garfield Show. Or The Normal Show. Or whatever the show is. <laughs>